Hello, welcome back. In last lecture, you can see I, I have created the local queue, alias queue, and transmission queue, and everything I show you how it's work. Let me now uh, just create the remote queue, and I will also in this lecture I will told you to how to create a sender channel, receiver channel. Let me uh, let me show you something. For if I want to create a remote queue, I need a remote queue manager because remote queue have information of transmission queue and a remote queue managers so, uh, let's let's let let me take this queue qm4 as a remote queue and i am taking as a uh, remote queue manager and i am taking class dot local as a remote queue i want i want to create a remote queue in on qm5 and taking class dot local as a remote queue for this so let me let me create the remote queue for this i need to go into the uh, qm5 let me uh, run the run, run mqs command run mqsc qm5 and now you can see you can see it's option to came to start the run mqsc now you have to define you are used to create the remote queue define queue remote And you have to give the remote queue name whatever you want. I want to give QM5 dot remote. And after that, uh, what I need to give? I need to give the uh, remote queue name and remote queue manager name. So you, let me first give the remote queue name. R name. Remote queue name. This is remote queue name. Uh, R name. Let remote queue name is class dot local class dot local and the remote is the remote queue manager name remote queue name is R Q M name that is Q M what is that it was you can see Q M four and it is Q M four then also a remote queue have information of transmission queue. Then I have to give the transmission queue name. If you can see here, here the transmission queue name is QM5 to trans. Let me give the transmission queue name also. XMI TQ. That is used for the transmission queue in the uh, MQS script. The QM5 dot trans. Everything information has been given. If you mark, if you want to make a queue persistent, then you can use there, but there is no need to do the DFT. If anything or in many uh, wants to add, you can add that is now you can see it has been created. You can see also from here it will be it has been created. Now you can see remote queue has been created. You can see the persistent the nature is persistent remote queue name is plus dot local and this and also you can see the transmission queue name. You can see everything from here also. You can use display keyword display. Q and give the just Q name that is the Q name five dot trans. You can see everything. Whatever the property with there, everything you can see here also in one page. You can see here the T Q. Uh, uh, if you see here, oh sorry, I since I have written the property of the trans. I have to read the right property for that remote. Let me change it by remote. I can see. You can see the remote properties here. The remote queue name is this. And the transmission queue name is this. Now let's come to the channel. Channel part. How can I can how we can create the channels? Now we need to see. We have two types of channels, sender channel and receiver channel, basically. Sender channel used to send information and channel used to receive the information. To create a channel sender channel, we need, you need to use simple you have to define channel channel word. Define sender. If I want to send the information from QM5 to QM4, then sender channel should be in inside the QM5 and receiver channel should be inside the QM4. Then let me already I am in the QM5, then I have to just use it, create the channel. Define channel. 
and give the channel name whatever we want i want it i am transferring from the qm5 to qm4 so i want to be like that qm5.2 dot qm4 then whatever the what is the channel type this you are creating i am creating the sender channel type then you have to give channel type that is sender then uh, also you have to give connection name you know that uh, uh, for this channel require the communication if ch ch channel require the information of the this uh, listener port so that it can communicate with this user. So I need this information the D666 port number with the connection name. So I will write right here the connection PO. Connection name that is which is the local host. You already know that it is local host. Why I am using in sing, uh, under the you can see why I am using here this uh, this is a string type a string comes under the now you have to give the transmission queue name because it has also information transmission queue then you have to give and you can see that we give the transmission queue name, that is you have five the trans and i have to give the transmission type protocol type and tr type that is tcp we use tcp for transmission protocol just finish you can see channel has been created if you see here also channel has been created you can see channel has been created now i have to create the list uh, i now have to create the uh, receiver channel the receiver channel should be in qm4 then you have to use go to qm4 then you have to use run name qc qm4 then after that you need to do get the receiver channel and then after you will see how it is working create the receiver channel simple you have to do nothing similarly you have to define channel and give the channel name whatever the written about it is the qm5.2.qm4 name should be same then you have to channel type you need to give nhl type that is uh, receiver rc pr you have to give trans transmitter protocol type that is tcp that is tcp now everything has been created and it is created now you can see receiver channel will also be created you can see here if you want to start the channel you have to use the start what you start for starting when you go to qm5 so let's do here int and let me go to the qm5 If you want to start the channel, you have to do start channel and give the channel name. Yeah, the channel name is QM5.2.QM4. Let's click it. It has been accepted. Now you can see channel channel is running. You can see it is running. If you go to here, you can see also it is running. That is the simple thing. So you don't need to do. You can see it is immediately the channels are running. Now in this lecture, I have created the remote queue. You can see here I have created the remote queue. I have created the sender channel. I did you currently you can see it is working also. I have changed the receiver channel. And next lecture we will show you the how it is working i will create in the stage and everything i will show you don't need to worry for now tata bye bye